Welcome back to the channel, everyone. My name is Darth Sloan, your official partnered content creator for Expansive Worlds. And today's video is a request from one of my viewers. I'm not gonna share their name. I'm sure they wouldn't mind, but sometimes you can get in trouble with that if you don't have permission. So I should have asked actually before I made this video, but I'm kind of in a time constraint. I will show the message and then we're going to address it. And I'm actually gonna make this video tailor made to the request of one of my loyal viewers and the, we're going to target this fish just mainly because it's one that I don't have a diamond of yet is the only reason. And I got another challenge from one of my other viewers asking me to go and try to catch a thin lip mullet because I just caught the thick lip the other day. 6.39 pounds uh, is what I caught, but they're both around the same weight. I just looked it up in the official angler discord the community record that has been reported at least is 7.03 pounds my biggest one is 4.64 pounds uh, so the purpose of today's video let's look at it but before we do if you would do me a favor hit that like subscribe notify bell let's hop into the reason for this video today all right guys one of my viewers says at darth sloan that's a great video now what he's referring to here is I posted a link to another video that I thought would help him out. And it wasn't exactly what he was talking about. So here's what he says. At Darth Sloan 1630, that's a great video, but no, that's not what I'm looking for. I'm talking about once you've hooked the fish, I'd like to know the best techniques to make it tired quickly, but also how to not snap the line. You mentioned something in one of your videos that I'd like to talk, like you to talk more about you talked about how you do little fast pumps as they tire the fish out more quickly instead of full pumps. I've tried your technique, but I can't get it to work for me. So I would appreciate if you made a video on it, teaching us how to do it and the difference between the pulling the rod the whole way back and doing it in little pulls. All right, so we're gonna hop into that. I'm gonna use a combination of uh, new footage today. We're gonna to go out and target the thin lip, and then I'll probably pull like a legendary or something else that was real hard to catch and do like a little voiceover. All right, first off, we're gonna get set up. We'll kind of show you how to set up for a little bit of a challenge. Now we saw, we talked about the thin lip being a 7.03 if you catch a diamond, so we don't want a big line that's not even gonna turn cherry red and have a chance to snap it. So to show off what I'm talking about to tire a fish out, we need this to be less than seven pound line. So let's find us a rod. I like to use spinners on the thin lip because of the bait, their bait preference. So see, you can see there the rod, 15.43 pound. That's overkill. Let's find something. Now the buckwheat's what I'm looking at there. I'll probably, we may use the buckwheat. Let's do buckwheat and let's go. Now that was a 4.41 pound. So what I'm gonna try to do is match the line right there. We're gonna use the tyro. And then I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna grab a 4.41 pound line right there. Now see, that's important guys. That could be part of your reason right there while you're getting your line snapped a lot. If you're not matching your reel to your line. Now, when you get up to the bigger fish, you know, 55 pound line and all that, you wanna use the biggest reel out there you got. Buckwheat, Tyro, 4.41 pound line. See how that max drags 4.41? That's 4.41. Now. That's gonna give us the biggest adjustment on our drag so that when we hit the X button or the Z button or whatever it is you use on Xbox or PlayStation to make your drag tighter or to give out more line, you know, 25%, 20%, 15%, 10%, you keep lowering that drag and it'll let the fish take more line out and help you not get your line snapped. Now, if it's taking line out and it's not turning your, it's not turning it white or red or pink, then you need to tighten that drag up, you know, get it 45, 50s, 55%, 60% until it gets the nine o'clock. This is what I'm going to teach you when we go here. The nine o'clock, if you're looking at that wheel down at the bottom, you want it to go all the way around to about nine o'clock. Now, if it goes past nine o'clock is when it goes from pink to cherry red. And that's where I like to do those little pumps. Like if it's pink, 
I like to bump it up into that cherry red, just, just real quick, just bump it. You know, and that's with the, for me, it's the uh, right click um, to, you know, do a little, the little pumps you're talking about. I watch it go into that cherry red and do those little pumps. And I keep doing that a lot until the fish tires out. And then I start doing the big long pumps. Because that's when you, when it tires out, that's when you start gaining on it. But there's other things to watch for too. Like when it's getting ready to take a run, you don't want to be doing any pump or it'll snap your line. So um, let's go in for the thin lip. I would like to have, I want a number eight hook. And then we're going to use minnows. Because if you look right here at the thin lip, doe, red worm, minnow. Now doe, I think, I think that's the mistake right there that people make is they try to use doe and red worm on them and you have to use like a six hook, you know, or a five hook. And those are like gold and diamond only for thin lips. So I drop all the way down to the minnow so I can use an eight hook and start catching silvers. I think that's where people mess up when going for the thin lip and they're having trouble catching them. But that's not the point of the video. The point of this video today is we're going to fight some fish and and learn how to tire them out. And there's a little bit of a different strategy, not too much, but a little bit of a different strategy when you're really, really, really outmanned with your gear, like a legendary or something, and you you might have like a 20 minute fight on your hands or something. You have to be aggressive really quick and take some chances. You have to take some chances because you don't want to get spooled. So you really got to get on that drag early and get into that cherry red a little bit more to try to tire it out before it spools you. Because if it spools you, there's nothing you can do. You can only take your drag down to zero and if it reaches the end of that reel, you're snapped. You don't want to be casting in areas like this. I don't want to cast right beside that pole. For example, if I, if I do this, if, if I come over here. Oh, I can also catch pumpkin seed on the eight, you know. If you look right here, there's another reason why. You look and you hit tab, right there's minnow, you can catch the pumpkin seed. And now if you cast right there where I just did, and, and, a, and a bigger fish hooks on that and goes behind that pole right there in the water, it's gonna snap my line. It don't matter what you do, don't matter how small the fish is, it's gonna snap your line. Uh, so that's one of the things that people mess up on. We don't wanna be casting too close. That's why a lot of times, I get in a boat, even even if I'm just casting around here, I'll get in a boat and get out clear of all those poles and stuff. All right, here comes us a thin lip. Looks like a little bigger than the ones we've been hooking, so let's hope it gives us a little bit of a fight. You know, we could get lucky and hook into a largemouth too. If not, I may have to target a different fish because these thin lips are just kind of small and or I can go back and get a two pound. As soon as I get the two pound, big seven pound about it, and then probably won't get it in. <laughs> That's why I hate to go that extreme. Okay, this one's giving me a little bit of a fight. Not bad though. I'm doing these pumps. Jumped up out of the water. Never did threaten me. Almost did. Almost did. So that's a goad being lit. So the four pounds, not really, I mean, we handled that. We're going to have to hook a diamond before it even threatens me here. So we may have to change tactics. All right, guys, now we're into a fight. Now I'm on the nine o'clock right there, it took me to go around the nine o'clock. I had to bump it up to 35%, but look how sporadic, how it's jumping up and down. See that? This fish has got some power. So I'm being very careful, just barely bumping. Because a long pull and it could snap. This thing may spool me. This may be too big of a fish. I'm on the Christmas pole and I'm carp fishing. So I took a chance here and I was like, you know, if I hook into a big one, I probably won't be able to land it. But we're going to try. 
for the sake of this video, look at that. This is a big fish, but the, my, my, oh, look at that right there. Already got me spooled. Nothing I can do about it. He's going to snap me. He's going to snap me. I don't know why he hasn't snapped me. Yep, there it is. Nothing you can do about that. Too big of a fish. I was afraid of that. Um, maybe if I use a one alt. When it spools you, it don't matter if you're on 0% or whatever. There's nothing you can do about it. It's going to snap you. So that's too too small of a pole is what I'm using. And I hooked into probably a 50 plus pound carp right there. All right, guys, we have a goad only hook on right now. This should be a good fight. Goad and a bug hook, it is. Here we go. This is what we've been looking for. Now I've got it on 60% drag. Now I'm, I'm gonna do these small pumps. Right now I'm gonna put it on 65% drag now. I'm gonna put it on 70% drag. Now right here, right there, when it, when it went back to the white, it's taking a little rest for a run. Now I'm gonna bump it back up to 70% right there. Let it do its little run. I'm bumping it back down to 65%. Then I'll bump it back up to 70. I'm trying to get to that nine o'clock, just doing these little, little small punch here. Okay, there it goes again. Letting off here, we don't wanna, you gotta hit that drag. When it gets up into that cherry red, you have to let that drag, there it goes again. Okay, right there. 65% seems to be where it's wanting to, a nice little safe place. Oh, right there it goes again. I'm gonna drop it back down to 60. Right there's the nine o'clock. That's what I like to do. If I can get it to stay around that nine o'clock, I do those, uh, like right there. I can do those little, just small pumps to bump it up into that cherry red, if the fish will let you. Okay, now it's kind of settling in. We may have already tired it out. Now I'm gonna start doing some, no. You don't wanna ever do a long pump when it's, like right now we're fine. We can do these long pumps and make up some ground. They're right there, let, don't. When it, uh, when it goes back around, like right now it's getting ready to run. Yep. Oh, right there, right there getting ready to run when it drops dramatically it's it's taking a breather and it's getting ready to run and if you're doing a long pull in the middle of that you're going to snap your line like right there i don't want to run in right there we're around at nine o'clock okay it's gotten pretty tired so i can do i can risk some longer pumps right now and that's where you make up your ground but right now he's running getting ready to run now I can do some long pumps. Oh, he's gonna run again. There he goes. See there? That's what you gotta watch when he's getting ready to run and tug. You can't be doing any pump. Don't don't even be doing a small pump when he's getting ready to run. Like I'm watching that and I'm watching right now he's getting ready to run again. There we go. See, he's back in the cherry red. Now I'll start my pumps again. I didn't have to do a lot of small pumps with this fish because he's not too big for my pole. Oh, 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 I almost made a mistake right there and snapped my line. Okay, let's see. Get him in, get him in. There we go. Let's see what we've caught here. We've caught a big, almost 50 pound goat common carp right there. So I hope that shows you how to fight and tire a fish out. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to throw some footage in from some legendaries and that shows a little longer fight. I'm going to drop the game sound out so I can do a voiceover. Uh, and talk about it as it's going on. We'll see you here in just a few minutes. All right, guys, as you can see here, we have hooked into Goldstein. Now I have cut the volume down so that you can hear my voice and not be going crazy. Look at those little small pumps I'm doing, just bumping it up into the cherry red there. And this is Goldstein. I'm using a 33 pound line here. It's about 27 pound huge catfish, but he gives a good fight. And look, I'm trying to keep it in that nine o'clock range. And I just keep bumping it up into that cherry red. Okay, now he's taking a run. See there? That's every time that he backs off a little bit and he takes a run, I just let him do his thing. And then we go back to pumping like we did earlier with the carp. He drops down to that white. Now the problem is I've got some good gear on here. So he, 
I didn't really have to worry about him snapping my line. But that's how you tire a fish out right there. I focus on my drag. I ended up around 40% on that one. But that's what you got to play with, that X and Z button if you're on PC. You got to bump that up to where you can get to about that 9 o'clock without it being cherry red. And then all it takes is just a little pump to bump him up into that cherry red. Wears him out, whatever fish we're talking about. Now when it gets to where sometimes they'll tire out so much that they're just hanging around down there at that 6 o'clock. And you can just start doing those long pulls. Just watch for when they take a rest and go back around to that one o'clock and try to take a run. You don't want me doing any pulls in the end because it may snap your line. Avoid rocks, avoid poles in the water because if they go around that, it'll snap your line every time. That's another thing. And, and when you're walking up to the edge of a dock or a rock or anything to cast off, make sure you're right on the edge because I have been standing too far back and get the, fo the the fish all the way in and it snap on the end of the dock or on the end of the rock that I'm standing on. So make sure you do that too. But I hope this has helped you guys. If it has, or even if it hasn't, you just feel sorry for me. Hit that like, subscribe, notify bell and let me know if this is what you're talking about. Hopefully I covered everything. This was a request, a special request. I hope I covered everything and did it justice for you. But this is what I try to do. This is how I catch all my fish. Just got to pay attention to the size of the fish. Try to match the line and reel up the best you can. Um, or have too big a line so that you don't have to worry about it breaking your line. Whichever way you want to do there. But if you're needing XP, you don't want to be too overpowered. You won't hardly get any XP out of it. So kind of defeats the purpose if you get too overpowered. Plus, it's not as fun if you just throw a 100-pound line on there and just jerk them in, you know? As you can see right here, the legendary Goldstein. Got him. All right, guys, thank you so much, and we'll catch you in the next video.